former President Donald Trump is in a rage. Blaming, of course, voter fraud and demanding new elections in Arizona following the loss of Blake Masters to incumbent Democrat Mark Kelly and uh, Carrie Lake, who is currently falling behind Katie Hobbs. So now the race has not been called, but about 93% reporting uh, Katie Hobbs has a very small lead over, well, Carrie Lake. So now, just hours after Masters' election was called over the weekend, Donald Trump went on a rage session. Uh, this is the evening before his younger da youngest daughter's wedding at Mar-a-Lago. Normally, you, you seem to be a pretty happy day. Uh, you know, you, you got family that's getting married. No, no. Apparently, all he cares about is oh, the election voter fraud. God damn it. In fact, here we go. Here's the meltdown. Uh, idiot and possibly corrupt officials have lost control of the tainted election in Arizona. Machines broken in Republican areas. A new election must be called for immediately. Oh, apparently, according to him, there were some, uh, there were some dumps. Big, massive dumps. I, I don't know what's going on, but apparently he's not happy about it. Obviously. <laughs> um, idiot and possibly corrupt. It, of course, it's not a Trump truth without some uh, weird typos, as usual. So, look, aside from the uh, obvious sourpuss Trump rage, this is yet another example, of course, of why Republicans continue to lose these elections. And the reason is crap candidates, uh, insane people. Blake Masters, I remember showing you the video of him shoving a 70-year-old, 73-year-old uh, man was wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt for coming to one of his events. Yeah, I remember that video. Uh, but, you know, aside from, you know, shoving old people who uh, live in his district, by the way, you also have uh, him spreading Donald Trump's messages of voter fraud. Oh, that's the voter fraud! It's the voter fraud! In fact, there was a phone call between Trump and Masters that was captured uh, in a Fox documentary somewhere after a debate, uh, here's what Trump told Masters, quote, if you want to get across the line, you got to go stronger on that one thing. What, what one thing? Well, you know the, th well, you know the thing, <laughs> which would be, of course, the voter fraud. That was the one thing, a lot of complaints about it. Really? Look at Kerry. Carrie's winning with very little money. And they say, how's your family? She says, the election was rigged and stolen. You'll lose if you go soft. You're going to lose that base. To which uh, Masters replied, I'm not going soft. No, I'm not I'm soft. I'm not going soft at all. What are you talking about? Soft? So, I'm, I'm not soft. I'm not soft. Come on, man. Now, when asked why claims of the 2020 election being stolen from uh, Trump were removed from Masters' website, he responded with, well, well, I still believe it. That's for sure. It's just not on my website. Okay. But look, he added later on in an interview, if we had a free and fair election, President Trump would be sitting in the Oval Office. Yay. So, look, uh, let me just point out, now, at this point, you have Republicans, fascist Republicans versus your standard, horrible, corrupt Republicans. <laughs> so understand there's a difference, right? The fascist Republicans are like, I don't care. I'm going to just take over the country without the electoral process. We'll just get rid of it by claiming there's voter fraud. And then just do a takeover, do a coup. Now, the... Regular, horrible, corrupt Republicans are the ones like, well, you know, we'll, we'll do voter suppression, we'll do all that kind of stuff, uh, but still, we're going to rely on voting, and yes, of course, we're going to try to rig the voting as much as we can in our favor, you know, it, but we're still not going to do, like, a, a voter for, you know, we're, we're not going to do, like, anything uh, like what Trump was planning, claiming voter fraud and then just, just taking our electoral system, just, you know, stealing the elections. We're not going to do that. Oh, okay, well, yeah, still pretty bad. But hey, at least they're not openly fascist like Trump and his supporters are. Uh, so now, 
Again, if you support the notion of stealing the 2020 election for Donald Trump, that is fascism or fascist. Uh, just be clear about what you are. Now, that said, that's what the whole voter fraud narrative was all about. Again, to use fake electors, people who are not real electors, who are not selected to be an elector for the state, and say, we don't care if you're not a real elector. We're just going to replace you with a fake one. And that fake one is going to vote for Donald Trump. And it's going to allow Donald Trump to, uh, you know, remain in the White House. That plan almost worked. So that said, let's go to Carrie Lake. Now, Carrie Lake, as I mentioned, her race, from last I checked, about 93% of the votes have been uh, counted. And uh, Katie Hobbs is about 25,000 votes ahead of Lake, roughly. So now, that said, Carrie Lake went deep into the voter fraud narrative. Of course she did. So let me show you um, Trump coming to her defense and claiming to voter fraud. Sorry. Let's get into that. I assume everybody watching Arizona is the great Carrie Lake's easy election win is slowly yet systematically being drained away from her and from the American people. This is a very sad thing to watch. Sad, baby. Mail-in ballots, long election counts, many-day elections, machines that a very few people understand, massive counting centers, what? And more are an American disaster. Our elections have become an unreliable joke. The whole world watching. Now, the whole world is basically breathing a sigh of relief that these insane candidates did not win. Nonetheless, nonetheless. Um, <laughs> what's funny is Carrie Lake. Now, look, Carrie Lake's, again, one of the crazy ones that didn't win because she's nuts. And so Lake campaigned with QAnon activists, Nazi th sympathizers, and even preemptively refused to accept the results of her own election. He said, well, uh, voter fraud. Well, hold on. You haven't even, you, you could win. <laughs> you could technically uh, still pull out a victory. And you're saying, no, no, no. Even if, even if I win, voter fraud. Well, that's not a smart uh, thing to do. But again, they're not smart. They don't really care about the facts. Facts don't really matter. Um, that said, even as the ballots were being counted, Lake called her voting, state's voting process a quote unquote laughing stock. It's a laughing stock. Fun. Wow. So I want to show you the real laughing stocks, though. Uh, and this would be Carrie Lake supporters. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day. 91! I want all of you to say a prayer right now. We the people are requesting military step in and redo our election. It was fake and false. It's full, our government is full of corrupt people. <laughs> Again, Cherry Lake supporters right outside the Maricopa Ballot Counting Center. It's happened over the weekend. Uh, you could say that they were Maricopa and seething. Here all week. But no, look, I, I, I love the irony of people, like these people that are like, oh, I'm crying for democracy here. You know, for my votes to be counted, except that I'm not because I don't want their votes to be counted. And I want the military to come in and basically uh, install my preferred candidate. Uh, don't you see that's a bit of a contradiction, but there, there is no, there's no self-awareness at all among the chuds. The other irony, of course, is that it comes directly from the top, Donald Trump. From, you know, people who claim to be uh, the, you know, for the people who claim to be the uh, biggest independent thinkers, right? Oh, uh, you're all the sheep. Uh, that's what you are. Uh, you, you, you just take all everything that you hear from the mainstream media, corporate media. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what you do. People who claim to be free thinkers, they seem to, you know, repeat everything that Donald Trump tells them pretty much ad nauseum. Weird. Weird. Look, Trump himself 
it's not hard to see that at this point, he is on a downward trajectory. I think he is going down, at least at this point. Uh, that doesn't mean he can't come back up. But right now he's going down. And so, and, and, and as these election results have shown you, he's taking a lot of the party down with him.